Hello, Jen. I, uh, I've got some things accomplished here, but uh, I could see that you needed help on adding the drop down menus on the syringes. So that's what this tutorial is going to be about. I'm going to show you how to do that in ZenCard. So <clears throat> I'm putting it all on the screen here so you can see it. If you look at this, you can see that there's no options to choose a, a size or a quantity. And like on cheap pens, you have like the size of the needle and uh, the quantity. And I'm assuming that that's the drop downs that you're talking about. So uh, what we'll do is we're going to log in to the on the test site here that we have. We'll start there. And so after logging in, we'll see our screen here. Now, the, the way that we get these drop-down menus is through our attributes. So if you, if you uh, go over to, to Catalog and you go to Attributes Controller, this is where you'll have your option names and your option values. And you could, what you can do is add these drop-down menus and add prices to them. So that's what we're going to go over here. So if we look at this uh, 3cc syringe and needle combo, we see that there's no drop downs there. So what we're going to do is we need to find that particular product here first. And uh, these are the different categories. And we go down to the syringes and needles and you see that there will be a list popped up here. So we got the 3cc syringe and needle combo. We'll click display. And that in turn will give us some drop downs over here. And as we look here, we can see that uh, what we want is what's on cheap pens here, which is the size 28G and 1cc. So it looks like um, there's uh, different, uh, like you added these drop downs, but you need to select the, the drop down. And you see, when we select this, there's no option value. So we need to go up here and click on option values. And what we'll do is select the size. And since you have so many sizes, it probably be a good idea to delete these because you got too many sizes. We only need one size option name. So what we're going to do is go back. First, we're going to go back to option names and all these sizes. We're just going to delete them because you, you don't need all of those. So I'm going to take a second and delete all these. So I just got done deleting all the size under option names and I see that you have repeated quantity over and over again. You only need one of those as well so I'm going to delete these too. Okay so now we have our option names quantity and size. Now after we have an option name we have to put values in them. So we're going to go put option values in quantity and size and you see that we only have quantity and size. So first of all, we'll do sizes, and then we'll put the option value of this option name. So if that makes sense. Now if I look over here at cheap pens, I can see that this particular syringe, uh, the size is 28G1CC. That's one of the option values. So we'll go uh, 28G1CC. And we'll make this the default order as one. That was possibly the lower one. And just simply click insert. And we have our option name and our option value. Another size that you have is uh, 30G 1CC. So we'll go back and we'll put 30G 1CC. And I'll give this uh, an order number of two. And I'll just click insert, okay? So that's, that's how we change, we add option names and option values. Now once we have an option name and an option value, we could go to our attributes controller and add additional prices to that. So we'll go once again to our category, syringes and needles, the 3cc syringe needle compo, and we'll click display. Now we'll scroll down here and here is our option name and our option value once again. So I'll click on this uh, uh, size and I'll click uh, 28 cc and I'll click insert and the 28 cc did not have a price associated with it. 
the next thing I'll do is I'll make sure I have syringes and needles and the 3cc combo and I'll click display once again and I'll come down here to our size attributes and I notice that uh, the option value of the 30g I must have put it in the wrong place so I'm simply just going to go back to the option values and see I put it in the quantity instead of the size so I messed up so I'm going to go uh, the size 30g 1cc and I'm going to give that an order number of 2 and I'm going to click insert I'm going to go ahead and delete this one since we're not going to be using that okay so now I'll go back to my attributes controller and I'll once again I'll select my syringes and needles and I want the 3cc so I'll make sure that's being displayed and I'll go back here to my size and my 30g 1cc needle and it looks like I have a price association with that on cheap pens. We're going to add two more dollars for that needle. So what we'll do is under prices and weights, we're going to do plus two dollars. Okay. All the other things you can leave just as they are. This is if you wanted uh, an image swatch, like you wanted a different image in there. But we're going to go ahead and click insert. Then we'll go back to our product listing. I'm going to refresh this and there's our drop down. So that's how we add attributes. And you would repeat this exact same process for the quantity. And we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and get our option names. We see that we have quantity. Uh, the sort order on this is 100. I don't think that that is uh, appropriate. So I'm going to change this to the sort order is maybe 2. And I'll go ahead and click update that. And on size, I'm going to put the sort order as 1. Since we only have two attributes, that'll make things less confusing. Now what we'll do is we'll once again click option values. And we see that we have quantity here. Now what is our quantity? Uh, we have uh, we start out with the number 10 with no additional price so we're going to start out with 10 here and we're going to give that an order number of 1 and we'll go ahead and click insert uh, our next one is 100 so right, once again I'm going to make sure I have quantity selected and put 100 here and I'm going to give that an order number of 2 and then I'll click insert and so I'll go back once again and I'll see that you have a quantity of 50 available so make sure I have quantity selected select 50 and you have some other little things listed in here um, this uh, plus 775 and plus 5 that that is uh, under the when the attributes when we get ready to display just in case you didn't notice that um, so we'll go here and we got 50 and we're going to give this an order number of three and I'm going to click insert and then once again we'll go back to our attributes controller and we will uh, make sure that we have syringes and needles just being displayed and that particular product the 3cc and we'll go ahead and click display we'll select quantity and we see our 10 150 and so we're going to have uh, 10 which you're not charging an additional price for and click insert make sure we have syringes and needles the 3cc combo click display now uh, we're going to select quantity now for 100 or for 50 we're going to charge an extra um, seven dollars and 75 cents and we're going to add a half a pound so what we're going to do is we're gonna get that price again seven dollars and seventy five cents seven point seven five and we're gonna add a, a half a pound and so we'll click insert and where's one more where we're adding 100 for 1775 and once again we'll click 3cc click display 
and for the quantity for 100 we're going to add 17 dollars and 75 cents and we're going to add to the weight uh, a 0.8 pounds a little over half a pound uh, 0 0.8 and we will click insert and we'll go back to our listing we'll refresh it and voila there's our quantity right there with our pounds and our listings so I hope this helped you with uh, adding your attributes and, and your drop downs on this. I could see that you were having trouble with it by adding all those. But uh, very simply put, you go to Catalog, Attributes Controller, and here you have your option names and the option values and just list according to in this video. Let me know if uh, this video helped you. If you need some additional information, I'd be glad to help. Thanks.